Okay friends, welcome. In this video I'm going to work with state now. Right now we just have the hard-coded data displaying in the website. Now let's see, let's say for example uh, here down there I'm going to say ptarg and say my favorite movie is I'm going to say past nine. Okay. And if I come here, yeah, here it is. But uh, this movie, I want to come from the state. So let's create the state here. And I'm going first, I'm going to call the constructor. And after let's call the super. Now this super here is going to call the constructor of uh, the super component. In this case is this component here. Okay, this super is going to call the com constructor of this component. Okay, and here now let's create the state. I'm going to say this dot state now this is referring to the this class which is up right now and the state is going to be a key value pairs so let's say an object with we need to say equal here an object with a key value pairs so let's say uh, movie name and i'm going to say here in the string past nine. Save this one and how we can display this movie name in the HTML down there. We need to say here, coli braces. Now, if you have to use uh, Vue.js, we have double coli braces. In the React, we have uh, single coli braces and here we can add any uh, javascript expression so let's say right now i want to display this movie name in here so my favorite movie is this dot state dot movie name if i save this and let's go back we have the same thing now if i change this to past then, for example, save, and you can see now past 10 here. Okay. Now we learned how we can display the state in the HTML. And of course, if I inspect element here, here it is paragraph and you can see my favorite movie is past 10 and of course i have installed this com this react uh, extension from for chrome so you can go and install that so here we have a component up and the state is movie name which is a uh, fast X. Okay, now let's change this uh, state. I'm going to add a button down there. So let's say button. And I'm going to use on click, but in React we need to say on click with a capital C. Okay, on click like this. And here we have uh, coli braces, so we can add a pointer to the function, or we can call the function directly here. So let's say on click, I want to change this movie name to past 11, for example. Now, if I say just this state dot 
movie name to be equal to past 11 is not going to work. But let's the past 11 here, save. And we have this, but if I click, nothing happened. And if I say you here, if I just add console log that state console dot log so this dot state dot movie name if I save and let's inspect elements go to the console if I click here you can see we have passed 11 here but the DOM here is not updating past 11. Okay, we have four clicks, but the DOM is not updating. So the React is not aware of what we of uh, we have changed the state. Okay, we need to tell the React we updated the state, so you go and update also the uh, DOM here. And with React, we have a special method, not state, but this set state. And in here, we need to add an object with key and what we are going to update. So the state. And what we need to update, we need to update this movie name. So let's say movie name which is going to be past 11. Okay, and now React is going to see the state if we have in this state a key movie name is going to update with the value here. And after that is going to update the DOM. So if I save now and go back, refresh to see if Okay, now if I click here, yeah, it's updating the DOM here. If I double, so they'll duplicate this one. And I'm going to say here, past nine and also past nine here, save and refresh. We have two. Now if I click past 11, it's going to be past 11. If I click past nine, it's going to be past nine. So when we say set state and we add the object with a key, what we have in the state, the React is going to see what we have in the state. And if we have that key, it's going to update the key with the value and it also is going to update the DOM here. Hope you understand friends and see you in the next video. That's about this video.